Hey everybody, welcome back to the North Star Takes Podcast with Jacob Liberta and Bailey Palicki. As always, you can find all of our videos on this YouTube channel and please give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram. We appreciate all the support and the following of this podcast. Uh, today we're going to be discussing a little bit about uh, one of the Timberwolves hidden gems here, Leandro Bomaro, draft pick in the 2020 NBA draft along with Jane McDaniels and yes. Anthony Edwards. But Bailey, why don't you tell the viewers a little bit more about uh, Bomaro's background, what he could potentially bring to the Wolves next season? Yeah, so I was digging into him a little bit uh, this week and found out he's six foot seven point guard slash combo guard. I'm not sure if he'd be like a true point guard in the NBA. He might be more of a combo guard, mm-hmm. but uh, his his calling card is more his defense. He's more of an agitator on defense. Some say he's kind of like a Patrick Beverly. He likes to get under the opponent's skin a little bit. I don't think he's a trash talker yeah. like Patrick Beverly is. But nah, Bomaro, he's going to want all the smoke. But it, it would honestly be nice to have a good defensive guy come off the bench like that. And Apparently he's a, he's a good initiator, kind of like Ricky Rubio. He likes to initiate the offense, uh, make sure everyone's set, stuff like that. He's a good playmaker as well. He can show off some flashy passes. All right, all right. Um, so I think, yeah, I think he'll be, it'll be an interesting – dynamic i mean he's not the best shooter in the world he's he's kind of struggled shooting actually but this past season in barcelona he got his three-point percentage up to 40 percent and his free throw shooting up to 85 percent, which is pretty good albeit it was a fairly small sample size but Mm -hmm. so i think overall he's more of a raw offensive player he's a solid defensive player um and if he can just develop a little bit on offense i don't know if he'll ever be more than like a bench guy in the nba but the wolves kind of need like a bench point guard combo guard type guy so he could fit right in right away i think yeah that, that sounds pretty intriguing but uh with all these similarities to rubio are you saying rubio is on the way out is bomaro replacing him or what, what well, are we talking about depends here? if we're getting ben simmons or not then rubio is probably out the door but uh i don't know i i could just see him being here you know just coming off the bench even if rubio is here those two might actually have good chemistry together who knows mm-hmm. so yeah it'll be interesting but if we lose rubio at least we have bomaro but I wouldn't mind seeing them play together too. I mean, that would be kind of interesting seeing the the two guys who played over in the Spanish league for a while. So yeah, sell them the foreign flavor. Oh yeah. Yes. So yeah, I mean, what are your thoughts about him? Do you think uh, do you think he's got the potential to come in and contribute right away, or do you think he's more of like a project player? Yeah, he's probably more of a project player, but I mean, we don't have much of a bench to be honest. Yeah. So I mean, he could contribute right away as well as he's kind of growing into his own in the NBA. The you know the greatest with the greatest players in the in the world as sure. far as basketball goes. So I, I think he he might look a little rough at first, mm-hmm. but I think he can eventually grow into his own. Like I said, and he can probably facilitate for whoever we can honestly bring off the bench with him as far yeah. as maybe like a Malik Beasley or something. To, Beasley still around, like you said. It kind of depends if Simmons is getting in the in the mold or mm-hmm. getting in the fold or not. So, I don't know. I I, I think I like the idea that he could shoot forty percent from three point range as well. Like mm-hmm. I'll always take three point shooting in this league. Yes. The way the league's going, it's just it's how you uh, win a lot of basketball games. But True. I just think that Bomero too is that. I think we need that defensive presence, like you said. Yes. He's like you said. I, li- I like the word agitator. Mm-hmm. I I think we need some guy that can just. Get out there and grind. Because, honestly, there's way too many games you'd watch last season with the Wolves where it was just, like, very suspect yes, defense for sure. at best. And, like, we just get run over by the best offenses in this league. So it would be nice to have some guy that kind of slow it down a little bit yep. and really uh, <laughs> kind of hone in the focus off the bench for basically a unit that can be kind of sporadic, yeah. if to say the least. That is a good point. And I think when your stars are D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards, and Carl Anthony Towns, None of them are really great defenders. I mean, Towns is getting better. Uh, he still yeah. gets in foul trouble a lot. But if you can somehow acquire a Ben Simmons, and then you still have Josh Okoge, and then you bring in Leandro Balmero, and he's good at defense, it's like, well, all of a sudden, the Timberwolves, who were a horrible defensive team... Have more balance. And you st- and if you can keep Jaden McDaniels around, like, yeah. you have some... You know, you lose Rubio. He wasn't great at defense. You lose Beasley. He, he tries really hard, but he's horrible at defense. Mm-hmm. Um, all of a sudden, the Timberwolves are... A more balanced team, I think. I mean, they have they'll have good defense, they'll have good offense, they'll have some guys that are a little bit mix of both. So, I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting. I mean, yeah, like you said, he's probably more of a project type player, and he's not going to be asked to do a whole lot offensively, I would imagine. But if he can just come in and play solid D, create some turnovers, maybe you know start leading the fast break and dishing the ball. I mean, if that's really all we need from him, and if you can get him rolling with some of these bench guys, the only thing I will say is. You know, if, if Rubio's still here and then you have Leandro Balmero, 
somebody's going to be the odd man out, whether it's Jordan McLaughlin or Jalen Noel, maybe even both of them. Who knows? Mm -hmm. There's not room for all these guys because we just have so many guards right now. Yeah, we do. So, oh gosh, yes. yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. But uh, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> I'm always excited about some something unknown like this, especially like a draft pick. Like, honestly, when we first drafted him last year, I was like, who is this guy? I don't, right. know, I don't know anything about him. And then, like, I honestly hadn't until these last couple months. And then everybody's really started to hype him up around people following the Wolves and, you know, the uh, beat writers and uh, yes. just, yeah, people who just know what they're talking about as far as basketball and, like, Everybody's saying he seems to be the real deal as far as like being a potentially good project player in the mm -hmm. NBA. So I'm also curious you can catch him in the Olympics. Or, oh yeah, for uh, Argentina. Argentina, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think they, I think they just lost the Team USA. They did, yes, yesterday. Yep. I think. But I mean, uh, him and Akogi were going at it when they played Nigeria, though. So that was, that was kind of interesting to see the highlights of that because uh, those are two future teammates here so yeah nothing nothing like a little <laughs> screw on the jail right but i i think this is a, just a great addition to the team especially on a very uh cap friendly yes that's contract part, yeah. because he's a draft pick obviously so i i think there's a lot of potential here and i'd really like to see it be fruitful as far as being at least a good defensive player like mm -hmm. if his offense is kind of shaky especially at first like it's kind of whatever like you said our best three players are all very offensively driven yes. guys who can score the basketball lots so we don't really need to support them that much but mm -hmm. i mean any offense you can really get just as a bonus will always help especially for three-point sure, yeah. shooting which he apparently can do so i, I think this is going to be a great fit for the wolves and i think gerson probably had that had that vision last year when he took him in the draft. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, I am too. This this has an opportunity to just be a home run draft for Gerson Rosas. I mean, Anthony Edwards is going to be a stud. Jaden McDaniels is already a very good contributor, and it's up in the air if he can maybe be a starter. If Ben Simmons ends up coming, I don't see McDaniels being a starter, I guess. But who knows? I mean, McDaniels has starting potential. He, he flashed a lot this last season. And then if you can bring in a guy like – Leandro Balmero, and he can just be a solid bench player. I mean, that's a home run of a draft right there. Absolutely. And what I love about all three players is that they're very athletic. Yes, like they are. They're, they're, like you said, and you got Balmero. You mentioned he's the combo guard, but then you got McDaniels, very, very long and can kind of play maybe a three, maybe a four if he gets a little bit bigger. And yep. then obviously you got Ant, who's just a superhuman. Jump out of just, the gym. Yeah, she's just yamming on everybody. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh, it's a it's a sight to see. But for sure. I, I think, like you said, this draft class is – Leaves us with a lot of promise for the Wolves going forward, especially coming to this next season when everybody mm -hmm. has been docking playoffs, playoffs yep, yeah. for this 21-22 uh, season. Yeah, so. Expectations will be risen for sure. Yes, can't wait. And getting another good player in the fold will definitely help that those uh, help us meet those expectations. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, that's going to do it for this edition of the North Star Takes Podcast. Be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button as well as give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram and give some thoughts if you think Bomero is going to be an instant contributor or if you think he might not be quite as prominent as we think he will be. Thanks again for watching.